Hi, my holistic friends, Dr. Anthony Yoon, America's Holistic Beauty Doc here, and today I'm gonna to be talking a little bit about how to get rid of unwanted fat. Uh, today I performed a good amount of liposuction. I also did some fat injections today. And one of the questions that I get so often from my patients is, how do I get rid of unwanted fat? And what do I choose if I get all these options? So if you were to ask me, 15 years ago, hey Dr. Yoon, I've got areas of unwanted fat. These are stubborn areas of fat. I'm not necessarily overweight, but I've got fat that I wanna get rid of. How do I get rid of it? Uh, back then, the only option we would really have is liposuction. But the problem with liposuction is it's surgery. So I'm gonna to talk today about how to choose between liposuction and all these other potential modalities. Feel free to ask questions, leave comments. I'll get to the questions at the end of this broadcast. So I'll try to get to as many as I can. Uh, but let me start by going over this question of how do you get rid of unwanted fat? So when do you choose between liposuction or how do you choose between liposuction and some of these other options? Uh, what are the other options? Well, there are two that I recommend that I think work very well. They're scientifically proven uh, to reduce unwanted fat permanently. Uh, if you are a plastic surgery enthusiast, you've probably heard of cool sculpting. Cool sculpting has been around for a long time, and the idea is that you can freeze your fat away. Uh, and this is an interesting, um, an interesting, I guess, idea that the skin is more hardy than the fat below it. So if you, uh, if you put the skin and the fat below it at a certain low temperature, the skin will survive and be undamaged, but the fat underneath, those fat cells are more fragile and they can die off. And that's the whole idea behind uh, cool sculpting. School cool sculpting takes about an hour where the, the fat is basically frozen and it literally feels like a stick of butter afterwards. Then you massage that fat for um, you know, a couple of days, it eventually softens up and you lose about 25% of the thickness of your fat uh, after a couple of months. Your body, body basically expels it from your body. You basically poop it out. Uh, and that's what uh, a lot of med spas, a lot of doctors have cool sculpting. It works. Uh, you get fairly modest results, but it definitely works. The one that, that I have in my office is called Sculpture. Uh, Sculpture uh, utilizes laser to heat the fat. The fat is heated to a certain temperature, and when it gets to a certain temperature, those fat cells uh, die off as well and are once again expelled from the body, basically by pooping it out. Uh, the nice thing about Sculpture is the treatment takes 25 minutes. You can treat up to four different areas at one time. And once again, you reduce approximately 25% of the thickness of your fat after one to two treatments. Uh, the thing you have to keep in mind with Cool Sculpting and Sculpture and any of these other non-surgical treatments, there's other ones um, where uh, you can utilize ultrasound like Liposonics to reduce the fat. M Sculpt helps to temporarily reduce fat. There's True Sculpt. Many of these others, you have to keep in mind that the results are still pretty subtle. You're not going to get this, oh my gosh, amazing, dramatic change. It's usually quite subtle, but they do work. They also work differently in everybody. We've had some patients have sculpture, they have one treatment, and they go, holy cow, this really worked well for me. Whereas we get other people where they do sculpture and after two treatments, they go, yeah, it's definitely smaller, but it's not super dramatic. So if you're looking for a big change, if you've got a number of areas or you've got a number of areas that you want to treat, and, and once again, you're looking for a big change and that's when liposuction comes in. Liposuction, basically, you've seen it on TV. We make a small incision, we inject an anesthetic solution, and then we suck that anesthetic solution combination with the fat out. It's permanent, those fat cells are removed, but this is surgery, okay? There are risks with surgery. You do get scars out of it. There's risks of lumpiness and unevenness. You get bruising, there's downtime. You know, it is a process. But for those people who've got unwanted fat and they wanna see a dramatic improvement in it, then liposuction is typically the way to go. Well, you may be asking, hey, what about ultrasonic liposuction or what about laser liposuction? Ultrasonic liposuction has been around for like 20 years or so, and it's the idea that you have an ultrasound um, 
probe that basically um, vibrates at a very, very fast pace at the, at the end of the probe, creating heat, ultrasound heat. And that ultrasound heat then helps to melt fat before it's removed. It can also help to um, melt through fibrous connections under the surface if people have real fibrous fat. A lot of men, let's say with love handles, they've got fibrous fat there. It's a way to help get rid of that fat more quickly and more efficiently. Uh, ultrasound, uh, ultrasonic lipo, you may have heard of Vaser. That's a very popular type of ultrasonic liposuction. Uh, I use Vaser for about five years regularly, and that was from like 2003 to probably 2009. Um, and I stopped using it because I just didn't find that it seemed to be giving me much of um, improvement in my results. I felt that it just took more time and costed more money for the patient, so I ended up stopping using it. Uh, some doctors are still using ultrasound, ultrasonic lipo, but once again, not nearly as popular as it used to be. Uh, the other one is laser liposuction. About 10 years ago, maybe a little bit less than that, laser liposuction was like huge. All the laser companies had their own laser liposuction device, and the idea is that if you stick a laser probe underneath the skin, the end of that laser creates heat. Uh, it can uh, heat up the skin overlying it and help to potentially tighten up that skin. The problem with, with laser liposuction is you really can only treat small parts of the body at a time. It doesn't do you good to use a tiny laser fiber over, let's say, an entire thigh. That takes forever to treat it. Um, and also, there is a question of just how much does that laser fiber actually tighten up the skin. Uh, I don't know that it tightens it up much at all, and the studies that showed that it did create some tightening effect uh, were typically promoted by the laser companies. So you've got to wonder, you know, there are doctors who are being paid hundreds of thousands of dollars to do research for laser companies, and hey, look, they've just published a study showing that that laser lipo helps to tighten up the skin. Hmm, you gotta wonder about that. So laser liposuction uh, is not really used much anymore. The vast majority of laser companies that used to sell their laser lipo devices don't sell them anymore. Uh, the granddaddy of them all, and if you were gonna try it, is uh, Smart Lipo, and if you try any laser lipo, that's the one I recommend. Uh, really, the only place that I recommend it now would probably be underneath the neck if you wanna try to get some minor skin tightening there. I think it might be worth a try. I don't know that it's gonna help you, and a lot of doctors say it doesn't, but if you do any area, that might be the area to do. The other area might be the arms, okay? But there are some newer technology coming out uh, that may be better uh, for tightening up the skin than laser lipo. And the one that's popular right now or gaining popularity is called um, body tight and face tight, where they use radio frequency both on the surface of the skin and underneath the skin to heat the skin from above and below. So laser lipo heated the skin from below, whereas um, body effects heats it from above and below using radio frequency. So similar idea, different modality, and probably a bit more aggressive. We'll see uh, how, you know, as time goes on, we'll see better how these results are. Um, so that's the idea, okay? If you've got small areas of fat that diet just won't get rid of, you just inherited it from your mom or your dad, once again, small area, you don't want surgery, then by all means consider cool sculpting or sculpture, but keep in mind that those results are pretty subtle, okay? Sometimes it takes multiple treatments to really get where you wanna go. If you've got multiple areas and or you wanna see a dramatic change, then I recommend traditional liposuction. It still works well. Um, just make sure your doctor you know, is very experienced with it. Uh, inexperienced doctors, I mean, God forbid there are family doctors out there performing liposuction on their patients. You know, you're gonna have a high risk of unevenness, lumpiness, complications. So be careful, choose a board certified plastic surgeon. A holistic plastic surgeon is the ideal. Um, and then I myself don't recommend ultrasonic liposuction. I think at this point we have better technology and there's a question of just what type of benefit it gives. Laser lipo, I would limit laser lipo use to potentially just the cementum, the area underneath uh, the chin, uh, or look at face tight or body tight for that.